Okay, this in this uh, talk I'm going to give you a short review of the transparent solutions. Uh, first of all, we need to understand what we are talking about when we're talking about scaling. And currently, Bitcoin can uh, doing having about seven transactions per second, while Visa is having more than more than some dozens of thousands of transactions per second. Uh, so if you want Bitcoin to be uh, gen for general use, we need to uh, we need to be able to scale for uh, a thousands of times uh, more than we have uh, where today. So if we are talking about the blockchain size of Bitcoin, while we are having only seven transactions per second and the block is still small, the blockchain size is growing much bit. Um, it will be. We are having more than 150 uh, gigabytes of data stored on the blockchain. Every if uh, every full node it has a um, uh, full node is becoming a little bit heavy. Um, when we're talking about uh, scaling in uh, Bitcoin, we're talking about three levels of uh, scaling. The first one is on the network, uh, it's on the uh, it's on the wallet, where when we uh, for the end user, but just want to use the currency. Let's be sure to talk about Bitly. No, 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 no. No? Okay. okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, the first one is the wallet level. For the end user, just want to pay and receive payment. He doesn't care to. Uh, he want to be. He may want to keep his privacy, he may want to keep his, his uh, money secure, but he doesn't care too much about the network security and and, to, uh, and everything else. Um, the the first, uh, second uh, level of scaling is on the network level. What? Uh, how much uh, transaction per se uh, the network itself as a network can handle? The uh, this. In much, this is really for service providers and miners that will, that have to run full nodes and they will have to keep up with uh, any network level scaling. The third uh, scaling uh, situation is the off-chain uh, solutions. The uh, only off-chain solution is really handled outside of the main blockchain, so you know, it, it's just Something else uh, that can it can have uh, it can handle uh, help handle it and stuff, but it's something uh, different. Um, when we are talking about wallet level scaling, we are coming from full node, which is uh, um, I will talk about a little bit about that but every solution. Um, first of all, we are talking about full node. What uh, publishes the core Bitcoin core zero point one. But uh, with every code 0.1 node verifies and gets in real time every transaction, every block. It keeps everything that happens on the network. Everything is kept. Everything is notified. Everything is verified. And the, uh, in 2009, this was this was requiring less than one megabyte per hour of permanent data and a little bit of uh, computing resources. In 2018, this requirement more than one meg about one megabyte per minute of permanent hard disk space. So for every every minute you you add one more uh, megabyte of permanent data. Then you keep all the historical transactions, all the historical uh, blocks. This is unscalable for most of us and most of uh, many computer uh, desktops. Desktop can handle this, but not uh, many other devices. Um, if you're talking about port 0 0.16, which is the full mode last version, it doesn't keep all the unfair transactions. It only keep about four, uh, 400 megabytes of last transactions. It doesn't keep all the recent, all the old blocks. It only keeps 
few ones uh, just to be able to handle more than, yes, it still verifies everything that goes on the network it still can be used by miners but it can be used by uh, wallet providers that have to uh, handle the whole network uh, they utilize only uh, the, 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 the main utilize the block checkpoints uh, the block checkpoints is when you say, okay, you take an old block and just keep the blockchain from this and uh, onwards. You don't keep back, uh, backwards and uh, old blocks. Uh, another uh, wallet is what's called simple payment verification. Uh, simple payment verification wallet only keeps block headers and uh, he, uh, transactions that related to the wallet itself, uh, itself, only my transactions are kept. And this uh, this still requires less, mm, little, much less resources. Uh, this one can be handled in uh, mobile devices. With, uh, mobile devices can handle this, even the lower ones. Um, this wallet also uses. Uh, Bloom filters. Bloom filters enables the uh, the network, the client, to ask the network for, to tell the network what addresses, what uh, what Bitcoin addresses are related to the wallet, and ask only for transactions related to this uh, um, uh, to, to itself. Um, the, another solution is just to trust the third party. Um, you still don't, you don't need to trust it with uh, with your money itself. You can just trust it with uh, trust it with to, to be notified of the uh, old transactions or unspent transactions. Know what you can spend. Uh, you don't need to give it to give. You don't have to trust the third party with uh, your. Uh, are private keys and stuff. Uh, on network level scaling, the, simple, the most simple solution is just to increase the block size or uh, have more frequent blocks. Uh, but we also have another solution which we'll discuss. Uh, a time belt is something uh, in what uh, IOTA is using and many, maybe some other uh, coins. It's not really, uh, it's not too, too different from uh, uh, just having faster blocks because what they're doing, uh, so it's not really helping with the uh, uh, network level solution. Um, Segwit is a little bit uh, better because it helps. Uh, okay, we're talking about offline solutions. We are going to have uh, two uh, the payment channels and side chains. Um, side chains uh, happen when uh, when you open a little a small blockchain different from the main chain. Uh, this was look really promising at start, but uh, it's really hard to implement. Uh, I haven't seen any real implementation of uh, side chain for. Uh, a real um, coin for real blockchain. And only my coins that were built specially to enable sidechains uh, enable uh, enable this. Uh, Lightning just uh, for uh, having some uh, fast and cheap transactions. It's really useful for uh, micro payments and rapid payments. Uh, it has its uh, drawback like it requires kind of complicated to build a channel for a start. It requires opening channels, it requires watchtowers to keep it secure, but it still uh, looks promising. Um, this has a summary of everything. Uh, is there any questions?